Hello guys, this is TheHacker13, and in this video, I'll be showing you on how to SSH into your iPod Touch or iPhone without using a Wi-Fi network. Now, this is very easy and simple to do, and we'll be using a program today called iFunBox. So, let's get to the video. Okay guys, but before we get on to the rest of this tutorial, I just want to say a few things about the program. First, it does not work for Mac OS X. This is for the PC only. It works for Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, 32 or 64 bit. Um, second, this program does not even require a jailbreak um, on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So you can use a fully unjailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone with this program. But the only problem is you can't put on themes or apps or cracked apps. Um, but if you just put music, movies, photos on your iPod, this program can replace iTunes if you wanted it to. Okay, so without further ado, let's move on to the next part, which is downloading the actual iFunbox program. So you used to download it, you go to this link, and it will be available in the description to the right of this video. Um, it's not a direct download. It's just the link to their website. So it just gives you some info about the actual program. And right down here, you want to click download. And it is in a zip file. So if you don't have any zip opening program already, you'll need to download WinRAR. And I'll put a link in the description um, to the right of this, um, in the description of this video. For those of you who don't have, like I said, any zip file opening program already. So once you have WinRAR, just hit open. It's a very small file and it'll open pretty fast. As you can see, just double click the program and here it is. So as you can see, my device is not connected. So now there are a few more things you'll need to do to get this working. So now we're gonna have to move to our iPod Touch, uh, Touches or iPhones. Okay guys, so now you just wanna open up Studio. And basically what we're installing is a patch um, that enables you to sync jailbroken things or tweaks onto your iPod Touch or iPhone just like regular SSHing. If you do not download this tweak, um, iPhone Box will still work but it won't let you sync cracked apps or um, any tweaks or themes. So by installing this patch, if your iPod Touch is jailbroken or not, then iPhone Box will recognize it as a jailbroken device. So you want to go to search. And of course the name of this item will also be in the description. You just want to search AFC, and I spelled it wrong. A F C, and now it's pretty much all you need. As you can see, there is AFC to add. So you want to touch that? You want to hit install, and then confirm, and it will download. And then I'll reload the data. And it'll ask you to reboot your device. So it will, Cydia might crash like it just did on me, but if it does, doesn't matter. Just hold down the power button and slide the power off. Then turn your iPod back on. Okay, so now you can just slide unlock, and you won't notice anything different. It's just in the in the in the device. 
And so now you can turn off your iPod, and now we're going to move on back to the computer. Okay, guys, so once you have iPhone Box downloaded and the patch installed from Cydia, now you can move on to actually trying out the program. So just take your iPod, touch your iPhone, and plug it into the computer over a USB cable. You can open up iPhone Box. And it'll say one device is found, and this will come up. And Cydia will pop up. Well, not Cydia, my bad. iTunes. As you can see, it'll just show your iPod Touch. And as you can see, it shows it um, just like WinSCP does, just as if you're a regular jailbreak. I mean, regularly SSHing. So as you can see, you got everything that you regularly do. You go to library, um, preferences, and you know, pretty much everything. So thanks for watching, guys. If it worked for you, please rate five stars, leave a comment, and subscribe. And also, please follow me on Twitter. I'll put a link in the description to the right of this video. And also, please subscribe to my second YouTube channel called App Store Corner. Where I just make basically unboxing of various tech products and app store reviews, obviously from the name. So, thanks for watching, and once again, and see you later, guys.